YouTube, how I have missed you. Welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. Uh, I just wanted to say I am back. I did take a little bit of a break and I, you know, every once in a while, the person that's doing this kind of work, I feel it's beneficial to, to take a step back, to have a break and to kind of uh, work on your own. Um, energy and so I'm doing great I'm excited to be back and thank you for your patience and continually watching if you're new um, I'm so glad that you're here so also check out have a great discount on personal readings for the month and without further ado let's get started with your reading hi Pisces welcome to the manifesting you YouTube channel this is your law of attraction and love general tarot reading for the month of April 2017 you can also check out your moon and your rising sign, which gives you great insight and understanding. Um, I appreciate your patience, and I've shuffled, and we're ready to get started. All right, Pisces, the first card here is representing your objectives and desires for the month of April. The second card is what you are valuing and identifying with. The third card is a possible distraction, illusion, or doubt. The fourth card is the right attitude, excuse me, the fourth card is the plans and strategies to be made. The fifth card is the right attitude towards yourself and others. The last card is the realization or the outcome. All right, Pisces, so let's check this out. Um, what's important for you in the month of April? We do have the Knight of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But a lot of you, this is your energy. This is represented by the worker. And so I feel that, Pisces, you're really taking action in pursuit of your goals. So whatever your dreams and your visions are, you're taking practical, realistic approach and steps to make your dreams come true. And what I like about this, Pisces, is you're not letting anyone mess with you. You're like, this is my vision. This is my dream. This is my purpose. This is what I'm supposed to do. And nothing you say or do is going to stop me. You're unwavering in your approach to your dreams. Almost to the point of being stubborn, which is not a bad thing. You want to grab onto this because you are gifted. You do have a higher purpose and a higher vision. I feel like you're not going to quit, okay? You're just, you're going to work long hours. You're going to do what it takes. And you've made up your mind in something, whatever this is, and you're fixed in it. You're like, this is what I'm doing. Nothing's going to change my mind. Also, you could be um, very a little more cautious when it comes to taking risks in your life right now. You may really be thinking things through, like, is this the best thing for me? Is this the best thing for my time, my energy, my resources, my money, um, my emotions? And I feel that you are totally moving forward, even if it's carefully and cautiously, you're taking those steps. And, and I think this is a really healthy energy for you, Pisces, because, you know, there's times where Pisces can be more dreamy and imaginative. No, not this month. You're willing to look at the hard facts about your situation in life. You're willing to deal with, you want to see, you know, he's wearing glasses, okay? So he really wants to see things clearly. He wants to see reality as it is, not as he wants it to be or dreams it to be. It's almost like, you know, there's a time and place for that. But right now you have to be realistic. And you're not going to be lured in by false hope. So if someone's trying to convince you to do something or present a business plan or a different idea, you're like, let me look at the facts about the situation. But you're dedicated, Pisces, and you're being diligent, you're being industrious, and I feel that you're producing a lot. You're like making up, maybe you took like a rest or a reprieve, and now you're just like making up for lost time. You're putting in time and a half. And you're developing your skills so that you can be an expert in your field. You are proving yourself steady and trustworthy in whatever area of life you're choosing to develop. And you're hopeful and you're expectant. You're looking for, you know, financially, you could be expecting more money. You could be expecting good news to come to you. 
You're hopeful that like finances are going to increase as a result of all your hard work. And you believe, and I feel like you kind of know that something you've been waiting for is finally going to start coming through for you. And you've been patient. And not only that, you're willing to work for it. So if this is something in the future, you know that by putting in this effort and this work now, there's going to be a payoff. Okay, so what you're valuing and identifying with, um, we do have the Page of Swords. So this is interesting as well. This is represented by the Watchmen. Others of you are dealing with an air sign in your life, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And here you are. <laughs> you are observing someone. You are observing something in your life. And this is taking a lot of skill. It's taking a lot of concentration. It's taking you, it's, it's forcing you to stay on your toes, to be active, to be vigilant, to be alert. And maybe that's why you're being so cautious and kind of painstakingly because you have your eye on someone, but there's something about this person that, and, and for a lot of you, it is a person. It's a man or it's a, it's a woman. Um, we got to take it literal at first, but it could be any situation. Something has you feeling unsettled, Pisces. You can't quite put your finger on it. But the thing about Pisces is that you can sense the undercurrents. You can sense the subconscious. You can sense the unknown. You may be trying to rein or reel this person in. This person could have a very cool, detached, uh, aloof, you know, they're very mysterious, you know, and you want to understand this person. You want to delve into them. You want to know what's hiding under the surface. They're intriguing you. You feel like there's something there, but you don't know what it is. And you're using all of your abilities, all of your skills to, to, to figure it out, to rope this person in. And you're pretty intuitive. You're pretty psychic and smart. So I feel like you're in a place of observing. You're observing those around you. You're observing relationships. You're listening to what people say. You're really listening. You're trying to understand their motivations, what they're really about. Some of you know that there, it's not all flowers and roses. You, you can sense that maybe this person isn't being totally honest or they're not revealing something to you. They're keeping something secret, something hidden. And I feel that you're determined. I mean, you can just look here. He's on his horse. He's chasing this person down. You're determined to figure this thing out. Um, there's something secretive going on. You're really trying to remain logical about this, like I said, because you have this earth energy, you're trying to stay clear, you're trying to think, think things through using your mind, using your logic, reason. And you can sense that there's some either deceit or there could be gossip going on. I feel that you're really trying to, to act honestly though, uh, Pisces, on your part. You wanna be above board. You are trying to just face the facts. You don't wanna deceive or be deceived. You want to expose the situation. You want to expose what is hidden here. And I feel that you're, you're speaking your truth. You're speaking directly. And once again, it's the same energy of this night where you're analyzing the problem. You're re-examining not only your beliefs, but the beliefs of those around you. And through that, by studying and researching the facts, you're going to develop a plan on how you can come to understand either this person situation or even if it's within yourself. But you're thinking everything through. You're trying to be fair. You, you know, you're trying to do what's right. And I also like Pisces that you're accepting responsibility. You're not just saying it's your fault. It's your fault. You know, the problem lies with you. You're trying to see like, why have I attracted the situation? You know, everybody comes into my life for a reason. So what is my responsibility here as well? So you're trying to acknowledge everybody's point of view. And I feel that you just have like this determination about you. You refuse to be discouraged and you're going to keep your chin up. You're going to keep your head held high and you're going to keep trying whatever that is. Okay. Possible distraction, illusion, or doubt. All right, so six of cups, okay. So somebody, someone, something is coming from the past and does not surprise me. I'm surprised none of the other signs had this card, especially with this month with where Mercury in retrograde for the rest of the month of April. That's when this happens. But you know what, actually Pisces, it doesn't surprise me because you are such a manifester. You are such a spiritual being that just your very presence brings situations to the surface. 
So someone, something, this could be your own issue from the past is coming up. And it could be a possible distraction, an illusion, or a self-doubt. Whatever this is that's resurfacing, Pisces, it's, it's going to affect you emotionally. Uh, it's a cup sign. It's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The past and your emotions will be revisited or are being revisited based on what you're attracting this month. Whatever this is, though, you don't have to let it bring you down, okay? That's the positive. The positive here is that if it does come back, there's a reason for it. There's something that has not been learned yet that needs to be revisited. It's, it's trying to teach you wisdom, wisdom about yourself, wisdom about the person. What is the lesson? Why is this resurfacing? It could be a man. He could literally just be walking back into your life. It could be a woman. It could be a friend. It could be a job. It could be just, you know, like an old situation. It's like, oh, I remember when that happened and it's happening again. This is an opportunity for you to correct past errors or correct something that you were trying to learn but maybe didn't fully learn. Maybe you partially learned, but it's here for a reason. And the possible distraction or doubt is to be overcome by it, to get overwhelmed. And it could cause indecision. I mean, these things that are tied to our heartstrings and are tied to our past, they become, become very nostalgic and can become very powerful and things, you know, deep rooted in our subconscious and in our intuitive psyches. It's tough to discern everything and to figure everything out. And so fearing, you know, weakness or feeling weakness, feeling like it's an obstacle or a challenge, it could want to pull you back there, back to that place that maybe you don't want to go. And this could be in your mind or your actions. And so you're going to have to step up. You're going to have to say, nope, I'm going to face this head on. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to be open to learning. I'm going to be open to feeling. Um, but know that you're not alone in this, that this is happening to a lot of people, just Mercury retrograde in general, that something from the past is going to resurface. But for you, it's tied to your emotions and possibly someone from your past. The path for you to take, the strategies to be made, we have the Queen of Swords. Yep, this is what I was sensing. I, I think that this is related to this card over here. There's a rival of some sort. And I feel, Pisces, that you're aware of this rival. There's someone that is competing with you on some level, mentally. It could be emotionally, but it's, it's affecting how you're thinking about things. And I feel that a lot of you are aware of this. Like, you know that someone is, is you know, a rival or a potential, th I don't want to say threat, but it might feel like it's a threat. I don't think this is anyone that you have to be afraid of necessarily. It could be your, your own self, like you're battling within yourself. But it is important to acknowledge that if this is your hunch, that it could be true. If you're in a relationship, if you're in a business, someone's rivaling and they may not have your best intentions. So with this Queen of Swords energy, if you don't want to mess with this person because this person can be very cool, calculating, and they don't always show what they're feeling. Pisces, you're definitely dealing with someone that is could, could actually quite be com almost competitive with you as well. And normally you're not like a fighter. Like this isn't really your nature to, you know, go up against someone. But um, for whatever reason, and this could be in your love life. It could be in business. It could be in friendship. Um, it, it is, this is really just an awareness that someone is trying to compete with you. And so, yes, you, you're willing to step up. I feel like, you know, you might be feeling a little bit more feisty and competitive and gung ho, but there's a little bit of a cautionary note with this card that this person is pretty, pretty ruthless with, um, they're very quick. Okay. And you need to be cautious about what information you give to this person. If this is resonating with you, they may not be as compassionate, as loving, as understanding as you are. And, you know, you probably feel like everybody's like you, like most people are kind and care and, you know, because you are such a caring person, but 
this person, not everybody has your best interest at heart. In fact, they're, they're ready to sprawl and to, you know, to go for it with you. The key here is just to not to argue because this person could speak their mind, their mind and they could be very critical of you. Very critical, very intolerant, judgmental. They could take everything that you say the wrong way. And they really have the ability to shred someone with their words. So there's just a little bit of a cautionary note here to not argue with this person, even if it's tempting to do so, because it's like, whoa, this is in your face. And you know, you might even be in the right, Pisces. You might even be like, it rightfully so, you know, but your words aren't really going to come across sensitive ears. In fact, the person may lack sensitivity and understanding. So, so what is the right attitude to have then towards yourself and others? We have the chariot. And I do definitely get Pisces that you're, you're being tested. You're going to have to fight. And I, I feel like for some of you, this is personal relationships this is, you know, you're pursuing your heart at work, you're living your truth, you're living your authentic self, you're putting yourself out there and some people don't like it or you're just going to be tested to see, you're, you know, this is an opportunity for you to be stretched and to be pushed and it's, it's not always comfortable, obviously, and it can be hurtful. Uh, especially when you're dealing with an air sign or someone that's not, doesn't have the sensitivity that you have or have the compassionate understanding that you have or wish that they would have. So what is the right attitude to have towards yourself and to others? Really, it's about, it's about thinking victorious. So even if someone's trying to set you back or is not being fair, you're going to come out on top. And this is a really beautiful energy, Pisces. And what I love about your sign is that you don't necessarily use brute force. You don't necessarily need to argue your way rationalize your way, you know, um, through an argument, your power lies in something unseen. Your power lies in your spiritual intuition and ability. And some people may use your kindness or see it as kindness as weakness, but no, 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 don't get it twisted. Pisces is one of the most strongest signs because they're so deep, um, that, the good things come to them because of their compassionate nature. So when someone takes advantage of them or does them wrong, you know, there's something called justice. There's something called karma. Um, there's God, I believe. And in the long run, you have a very profound and deep power within yourself that allows you to conquer and to overcome. And this is the perfect opportunity for that power to be manifest. Here you can see you're coming out of the clouds. You have kind of these angelic wings. You have the force of the universe, of God, of spirit, and you are wrestling with the darkness and the light, Pisces. Don't forget it. I mean, not only in others, within yourself, okay? We aren't perfect. No one's perfect. It's representative of our lower base desires, our human desires, you know, evil, whatever you want to call it, and light. And you are going to have to really wrestle this down if to be victorious in your life. It's about you asserting yourself. I mean, this is not a wallflower card. This is you charging ahead. You're, you know, you, you have to be all about your, your goals right now, your visions, your dreams. You have to be about reaching your goals and not letting anyone or anything detour you, even if it tries dominating. You know, don't, you know, and sometimes Pisces, you want to let everybody else go first. You know, you want to sacrifice yourself. I don't feel like this is a time for that. Sometimes it's a time for that. But right now you have to have the mindset that you are going to be victorious. You are going to come out on top. Eventually when the dust settles, you're going to beat out the competition. And what's funny is they don't think you are. They think that you're weak or that, you know, some of them could think that you're weak or that you're too sensitive. But like I said, Pisces is incredibly powerful because they have this spiritual force behind them. You have to, you have to use your will though, Pisces. It's not going to just be handed to you. You have to be absolutely determined to succeed in whatever this is that you're pursuing. You have to focus all of your energy, all of your strength, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You have to rise above the temptations that are presented to you with people, especially. 
and let nothing distract you. Like don't be detoured. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the negativity. Don't listen to the doubters, the haters, whatever you want to call it. Establish. This is a time for you to establish your own identity. And sometimes you're very mutable, you know, like you blend in. But I just, I feel like you've got this newfound confidence, Pisces. Like there's times where Pisces is go with the flow and there's times where you are so powerful that like nothing can move you. This is one of those times. This is the time to know who you are, to establish your self-confidence and not only to establish it, to feel it and to have faith in yourself. Look out for your own interests. And, you're, and, and this is easier said than done, right? But it's, it's about mastering your emotions, mastering all these different energies that you're feeling, not only your own energies, but the, those around you. Because no doubt you're feeling other people's stuff. And you have to maintain discipline. It's very important in order to be successful because there's huge potential right now. You have a huge, powerful spiritual force. If darkness is kind of creeping up for you, or just kind of like negativity, like you feel like maybe it's not you, but it's other people. That's a sign that, you know, you're starting to make things happen. Spiritually, you have unleashed power and things are starting to shift, not only in your own life, but in the world around you. Show your authority, but you're going to be doing this in a way that is not the obvious way. The way that some people are using, whether that's control, um, belittling negativity they're using their power in a negative way you have to use your power in a positive way to get the results you're looking for all right so by the end of the month pisces we have the five of wands we have the five of wands and this card is telling me that you are going to have success whatever this is be it your business your vision your dream your goals a relationship you're going to have success, but it's not going to come easily. And you're also going to have to work hard to defend and to protect what you've already attained. So you are going to start seeing that you're moving in the right direction. Some of your dreams and goals are going to start being fulfilled. This is the card. Once again, it's your fire. It's the fire in your belly. Um, am ambition, you know, this, this newfound ambition, uh, expansion, your, your dreams and goals are going to be expanding. Abundance is coming into your life. However, with that being said, the sky is a little gray. It's a little cloudy. It's a little unsettled. Know that this too will pass, but, but here we go. This is people's opinions. There there's power struggles going on here. There's competition. You're going to be facing this. I mean, you've got a lot of cards where you're going to be facing this. You may feel torn by this because Pisces, this is very uncomfortable for you. You don't, you know, it's like, can't we just all get along? Like, I don't feel like you really naturally are a fighter. And so you're going to feel torn maybe by these oppositions. It's, it can be having a rival, someone wanting to be fight with you. And just make sure that you do your part. You know, you stand strong. You are diplomatic with those around you, but you're firm at the same time. And it's really about protecting what you've accomplished um, and protecting your energies and your visions because getting that not everybody is seeing things the way that you see things. And just know that I also feel that this is temporary. This too shall pass. It's not like it's going to be like this all the time, but for whatever reason, Pisces, there's a little bit of stuff brewing, but with that comes this powerful opportunity to find a newfound strength and confidence within yourself to harness your power and energies and to balance out some of your imbalances. And you are going to be victorious, but you're going to have to fight for it and continue to fight for it. So I hope this reading has helped. This is going to complete the law of attraction reading for the month of April. So let's look at love. All right, Pisces, the first card here is representing your expectations, hopes, fears for love in the month of April. The second card is going to represent the obstacle or the challenge to overcome. And the third card is going to represent the realization or the outcome. All right, Pisces, let's check this out. Expectations, hopes, fears for love. We do have the two of cups, but it is in the reverse. 
Water sign, definitely water energy happening for you. Pisces, your sign, Cancer, Scorpio. If you're dealing with a water sign or this could be you. Some of you are in a relationship because obviously we have a couple going on here. So the biggest thing I'm getting is that some of you are going through a period of imbalance in your relationships. Maybe it started out really great. It started out kind of like, yay, everything's perfect and ideal. But when it reverses, that perfection or harmony becomes unbalanced. You may experience disharmony in some way, shape, or form. At first, these two separate energies, the masculine and the feminine, in a perfect world are very complementary and very balancing to one another. But when they tip the cups upside down, now the very energy that brought these two together so magnetically, so dynamically, is actually almost repulsing one another or at odds with one another. And it could just be, you know, and, and relationships go through seasons, okay? We can't always be like holding hands in the meadow, frolicking in the grass, you know, with daisies in our hair. It's just, I wish the world was like that and that we just felt perfectly blissful all the time, <laughs> but it's not reality. And so, you know, this isn't that negative. I mean, it is kind of, but I just get that like there's an, there was an idealism about a relationship or about a person or about love. And it's kind of been tipped on its head. Like reality has kind of set in like, okay, okay. You know, we're not perfect. He's not perfect. She's not perfect. We're not a perfect couple. And that's okay. I know that can be painful though, Pisces, because you know, reality can be harsh. It's harsh. It's much easier to live and fairy tale land and you know romantic storybook endings and and so when we have to kind of realize that life isn't always like that it can be it can be painful and so i get a little bit of that happening so this can go to different levels different extremes right this could just be a little awkwardness between you and a partner all the way to someone that you love someone that you connected with someone that you really felt whole with all of a sudden it's just kind of been ripped apart relationships, families, friendships, um, equality that, I mean, this, this is really a card all about equalness, equality and relationship, uh, before where it was like your equal partners. Now someone's becoming a lot more dominating, more aggressive. And while the other one is being more submissive and you know, you're a mutable sign Pisces. So whatever your partner is displaying, you're going to kind of go in the opposite way, or you're going to try to make it work. So someone could be, you know, at first it started out pretty, you know, that you were both giving fair share and now all of a sudden it's like, man, you're having to pick up all the slack or vice versa. The other thing that this could be too, um, it could be a hot and cold situation. Like one day you're on top of the world with this person, like things could not be better. The next day it's like their mood has completely shifted and maybe this is you maybe this is how you're feeling about love or depression and apathy and like you know what i don't even care anymore it's extremes the main thing is is we're talking about extremes here and if you're single it's like it's like highs and lows or, or just not even knowing what you want anymore you may be feeling imbalanced yourself or just at odds with yourself. Meaning like one day you're like convinced this is what you want. And then the next day you really don't know anymore. It's like after the initial heady romantic, you know, we kind of have rose colored glasses. When we first meet someone, we first feel all those emotions. It's like that person can do no wrong at all. They're perfect. <laughs> and this is when that starts to wear off you could be realizing that maybe you're not as compatible as you thought you were and you're starting to question you know what are what do i really need in this relate or what do i need in relationships in general who am i in relationships and you're you're going to be questioning like why am i attracted to the people that i'm attracted to why do i keep attracting this type of person um or you know like they say, oh, just go for the good guy or good girl. And it's like, but I'm not attracted to the good guy or the good girl or whatever. You're just, you're, you're, you're looking at how you are seeing relationships and how it applies to your own personal desires and needs. 
And this kind of correlates honestly to the law of attraction reading because there's there's some difficulty. There could be rivalries, there could be falling out between friends or just something's very one-sided. And you're having to deal, and, and honestly, Pisces, this may not even be your energy. Like you may be like, can't we all just get along? I'm not saying you're perfect, but you could really have like a good heart and everyone else around you is just really cattywampus. Codependence can be an issue with this card. Um, struggling to, to be separate from that person, like feeling enmeshed with that person, having a hard time developing your own uh, hobbies, independence so like i said imbalance of all sorts is is kind of what some of you are dealing with all right so the obstacle or the challenge to overcome we do have materialism which this is actually the card of the devil so it's the devil in reverse or materialism in reverse it's the same thing yep i know not fun stuff <laughs> um some of you here have been dealing with lies you know uh you are a spiritual being and sometimes pisces you because you're ruled by the fish the two fish going in opposite directions one fish swims at the surface the other fish goes down deep goes down to the depths there's a part of you it's almost it's, it's not even like malicious or evil but there's a part of pisces that needs to understand the darkness is curious about the darkness what lurks there some of you have been have felt fallen into to temptation and you know it's not good for you like you you know this intellectually or mentally like there's bondage here like you're chained and this could represent too much drinking money you know sex without love um wealth just anything negative that's like not tied to the spirit so these things aren't bad in themselves, right? But when we take them away from like our divine purpose and like the highest good of all involved, they, we get enslaved. So there's a disconnection here to the spiritual side of yourself. And, you know, honestly, Pisces, you may just be like, I'm tired of being spiritual. I'm tired of always having to be the goody two shoe or like care for everybody else. Like there is a darkness here. There is a darkness. Um, the challenge though is that and I think that some of you are realizing you're starting to see things more clearly and you will that a lot of this, even though it seems appealing and it's a quick fix and it's the easy way out and it's instant gratification, it's a lie. It's a lie. You know in your soul that you are made for something better. You're made for something bigger that you will feel more satisfied if you listen to the truth, your inner truth, your highest potential, your highest self. You don't want to stay here. You don't like you may go here, Pisces or your partner may go there. I mean, I, I feel strongly that some of this is for you though, Pisces, but um, I don't feel like this is where you're going to stay, but sometimes you have to see the darkness to remember that you like the light. <laughs> you know, you have to like go there to be like, wait a minute, is this all that it's cracked up to be? Or, oh no, 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 I don't like that. This isn't feeling good. Some of you are feeling bond in bondage to something or someone. It was so damn convincing in the beginning. And this could be a person. This could be someone that you've been so intrigued with that in the beginning just seemed amazing. But you're starting to realize they're not really all they're cracked up to be. The situation is not, you know, it, it, in the beginning, it seemed like it was going to be magic and, and soulmates and bliss. And now you're starting to see through it. You're starting to see through him or her. And you're starting to see the evil, whether that's in yourself or in someone else or in the relationship. And now you're realizing, I got to get out of here. Like, I can't, I can't keep doing this any longer. And what's interesting is, check this out. Um, the darkness is kind of over here in the start of the month. By the end of the month, we're shifting. Now we have a rainbow and, and the person's ending on the other side of the rainbow. So you're shifting out of this darkness. And this darkness, it can be deceiving. It's not always obvious. It's not like someone comes and, you know, it looks good on the surface. Uh, temptation always looks shiny and pretty and attractive and it promises you great things. It promises all the things you ever had hoped for and dreamed. But then you are starting to feel engulfed by this. And you're not too happy. You're not too comfortable. But you are, and the challenge, the obstacle to overcome is to take those steps to free yourself from anything or anyone that's restricting you. Now, whether you're in a relationship or this is just your own personal issues, Pisces, it still applies. 
but I love this because someone could have taken advantage of you. Someone could have taken advantage of your good nature, your good spirit, um, and you're beginning to think for yourself again clearly. That's the challenge, you know, and the obstacle to overcome. You're deciding on your own path. You're like, wait a minute here. I don't have to, you know, how did I even get in this situation? You can't really blame whether it's his fault, her fault, your fault, doesn't matter. The point is you're there if this is resonating with you. Now what are you gonna do? Some of you, it's like a complete reversal <laughs> from sinner to saint, from darkness to light. There's like an overthrow of what you were doing. Like maybe you were seeking out kind of more the darker hidden side of life and your cat now is almost like wanting to go to this other extreme where you're casting off the darkness and you are in search of spiritual enlightenment. You're like, you know what? No, this is who I am. Now I'm gonna embrace this thing fully. It's just like enough is enough. Enough is enough. And you just don't wanna live in some way, shape or form anymore. You can't take any more. And I feel that you are going to take action to get out of it. Something has rocked you to your core. Something was very unsettling for you. And you're starting to look at things in a different manner. And what's, what's interesting about being in bondage or thinking, most of this is in our own mind. Like we give our power away. We don't realize that we hold the control. We hold the power, but we give our power to someone else or to something else or to a thought, to something that feels like it's really enslaving, but really it's not as bad as we, is it, it seems like it's a lot worse than it really is. And you really are free to make choices and to make decisions in your life. It's just a realization of that. And so I do feel that this month is, is testing these, testing this and showing you and giving you all sorts of realizations. Really beautiful reading, honestly, Pisces. I mean, this is intense, it's dramatic, but it's beautiful at the same time because look at the outcome or the realization. Somebody is coming for you. I love it. It's the knight in shining armor or, you know, the prince. And this just could be you. But, you know, whatever you've experienced here, it's going to get better, Pisces. Don't even worry about it. Someone is charging towards you on this white horse. So maybe dreams do come true, right? Um, he or she is, is, is bringing a bouquet of flowers. There's a sunset. There's like puffy white clouds, like cotton candy and pink and oranges in the background. It's the Knight of Cups. <laughs> it could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. And this could be just you. You could come out the other side of this better and stronger than ever. This is someone that is romantic. You know, you're, you're going to be bringing romance back into your life, whether this is in a relationship or it's just your own ideals. Idealizing a person, idealizing love, having them idealize you. And there's really nothing wrong with that as long as you also kind of stay grounded at times as well. Feelings, 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 emotions, um, positive emotions, concentrating more on the poetry of life. And, and sometimes, like I said, these challenges make us learn and, and bring out our gifts and our abilities. So, you know, it could be a special occasion. It could be an anniversary. It could be a date night. It's like just doing things that are romantic. Even if you're single, you can do these things for yourself. Looking beyond the obvious, you know, getting back to your true gifts and abilities, having a visionary approach to life, appreciating beauty, and is, is someone that is, is aware of the moods and feelings of others. This is deep. I mean, there's no way around this Pisces. Like you love deep and powerfully and you understand the pain of others. And I, I feel like that's going to be rewarded here. I feel like God in the universe is going to reward you for your sensitive soul and your sensitive spirit, whether this is a new person coming into your, to your life that really is going to be what you want and had hoped for. It's going to be a revitalizing of a relationship, or it's just going to be you back on your positive vibe, your spiritual vibe and making everything more beautiful just with your creative and romantic and sensitive spirit. I think it's going to be a great month, powerful, transformative, challenging but it's going to end well so um i hope this reading has helped this is going to complete your love reading if it has as always pisces i would appreciate for you to like and subscribe to the channel that's going to make sure you get all the messages the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self 
I appreciate you so much and thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.